Do you believe that? Well, uh, I know that the president should start to focus on jobs and job creation, and, 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 and that hasn't been done. Since I've been here, we've done health care, which they obviously rammed through by using a parliamentary procedure that has never been used for something this big ever. And, and then the bill, as we're finding out, is, is flawed, seriously flawed. That's going to cost medical based companies in my state, you know, thousands of jobs. But then we're, taking, we're talking now about regulation reform. We're politicizing that. Maybe I've heard illegal immigration is going to come forth. When we were in Pakistan and Afghanistan, the only thing they talked about from the presidents all the way down to the poorest farmer were jobs. Since I've been here, I've heard zero talk about jobs. So um, I'll let, leave that up to the political pundits. But I know from what I've seen that we need to focus on jobs, and the president should start to do so. But do you decline to answer my question? Is he pushing the country towards socialism? I don't think he's making uh, proper uh, choices when it comes to uh, the, uh, dealing with the, the free market and free enterprise and allowing businesses to, to really run themselves and create jobs. And as a result, uh, a larger government is happening. And uh, we're creating jobs, but they're all government jobs. And the private sector is definitely... Do definitely you think suffering. the president shares American values? I think the president's a good man. He has a good family. He has two wonderful daughters, and I recognize that challenge with, with that can hold. And, uh, and I respect the office of president. And I've always said that uh, uh, you know, he, he is an American. I know he cares deeply about our country, but uh, there's just different priorities. And my priority is to, keep, is to deal with the taxes and spending issues to get our economy moving again and to also uh, keep us safe. So when we tra transport ourselves throughout the country and the world, we know that our loved ones are going to be coming home. Let's talk about Afghanistan. You chose as your first overseas trip as a senator to go to Afghanistan. Uh, you met with the troops, but you also talked to uh, uh, the leader over there, Mr. Karzai, who's been saying some, frankly, pretty weird things, like at one point saying you might uh, join the Taliban, uh, at another point seeming to suggest that all the corruption uh, that's going on over there is somehow the fault of foreigners, i.e. us. Yeah. Uh, how did you find this man? Well, I, I sat right here, uh, very similar. I asked him those tough questions. What about his comments about the Taliban? What about his, is he a true ally? Are, are we friends? Are we enemies? We're, what's the relationship? And don't forget, his father got killed by the Taliban. He, he hates the Taliban. There's no way that he's going to... But why would he say that? I think he's under a lot of stress. He's a daily assassination attempts, obviously dealing with 40-plus coalition partners, dealing with the corruption and other political issues that his country faces, the challenge challenges that are there and uh, after our meeting I was I was convinced that he was sincere he, he recognizes and appreciates the, the sacrifice and support our men and women have given his country the financial assistance that we provided and uh, the, I, I left Afghanistan hopeful that General McChrystal's plan and working hand in hand with the coalition forces the tribal leaders and the individuals in Afghanistan that that's the best chance we have of success let me uh, uh Ed, finally, uh, your daughter, how does she say her name? Ayla? Ayla. Ayla Brown yes. uh, has joined CBS News as a correspondent on the exactly. uh, early show. So how do you feel about that? Well, she's a broadcast journalism major, and she's been uh, dealing with TV ever since her time on Idol. And uh, I've watched her, her, her segments. They're very professional, and she works very, very hard. That's, she's always, even Simon said she was a, the hardest worker on the show. So she's going to have to stand on her own two feet, and I'm very excited for that opportunity, and I hope she takes advantage of it. Senator, thank you for coming by. And we hope to see you many hey, times. Down I'm the road. looking forward to it. Thank Glad you. Glad to have you. And